Good morning, Jack to Nerdy fans. Welcome to another review video. Today, we are doing a review of the latest creation from Rob Zombie, his interpretation of the Monsters. Now, before I jump into that review, if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That way you guys never miss out on a video. And if you do enjoy the content that we're putting out there, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. That way that lets us know that you are enjoying our content and it encourages us to keep putting it out there. So with that out of the way, Rob Zombie's The Monsters. Now, when this project was first announced about two, three years ago, I was very, very excited. I enjoyed watching The Monsters as a kid growing up, and I have loved a lot of Rob Zombie's work. I'm a huge fan of the House of a Thousand Corpses and Devil's Rejects films. I'm also, contrary to popular belief or uh, you know, a lot of critics out there. I really did enjoy his Halloween movies. So, and I'm a big fan of his music. I love Rob Zombie. But when the first trailer came out for this, I was very nervous. It felt very campy. It felt very over the top. Um, now, don't get me wrong, I fully realized the original Monsters series back in the 60s, 70s, you know, 80s, whenever it first came out, was very campy. It's, it came out in the same time and in the same vein of the original Batman movies, the 1960s Batman series. So I, I know the original series was very campy in, in it of itself. But when this was announced, I thought we were going to get a Rob Zombie-esque version of the monsters. I thought it was going to be brutal and gory and vulgar. And, you know, I thought it was going to be an R-rated monsters and what we got was just an over exaggeration of the original campiness from the original monsters it was everything was taken to you know the 12th degree um in this movie also it is a prequel story so it is the telling of the story before the monsters became the monsters how herman and lily first met and and all of that um which i didn't really need to know i didn't really need to know uh the pre-story you know we know okay you know he's he's frankenstein's monster she's a vampire they live together in a house in california where they're the odd family you know that was the story that we all know and we all love and we want to see more of. I didn't really need to see kind of an origin story um, of these characters. And what's more, the interpretation of these characters, like I said, is very, very... It's, it's so exaggerated and so over the top that it just makes the characters downright annoying and frustrating and unlikable. Um, so I have to say, I mean, like I said, when it was first announced, I was really excited. When they released the first trailer, I was very, very nervous. Now that I've watched it, and to be honest, I couldn't even finish it. I reckon, um, you know, I reckon, I can't tell you exactly how much was left of it when I had to, had no choice but to switch it off. I couldn't finish it. And my wife, who is a big, a bigger Rob Zombie fan and a bigger Monsters fan than I am, she was the same. She was the one that actually told me that she tapped out and had enough. I was trying to persevere, but she was the one that told me that she tapped out, had enough and could not watch any more. So, um, um, you know, and the, the, the other thing is, so let's go to the acting. So, so we, we've talked about the story and, and all that. Let's go to the acting. So, um, Jeff Daniels, uh, sorry, Jeff Daniel Phillips, uh, plays Herman Munster. 
he did he look he he wasn't horrible he wasn't horrible but i think it was the over exaggeration of everything that just made it horrendously unbearable if if they had to, if it, if they had toned it back it probably wouldn't have been as bad uh Jan, daniel uh roebuck uh plays grandpa he was actually really good i actually really liked him he he was not too over the top um and and did a great job and was the most kind of even killed character out of all of it uh, Sherry Moon Zombie, Rob Zombie's wife, plays Lily Munster. Um, now, in the originals, Lily Munster was the level-headed kind of one. She was the smartest one out of the entire family and the more, most level-headed. In this rendition, they've you know demoted her to a complete and utter ditz, and um, and you know, starry-eyed, love-struck moron. Um, you know, which which is a complete and utter shift from the original from the original kind of premise of of Lily Munster being you know the um the the main tent pole of the family and the, the the main support structure of the family. Um, you know, so they just made her a complete and utter, for lack of a better term, moron in this, and and utter and utterly frustrating and annoying. Um, I mean, I could go on and on and on about other characters in it, but but I mean, you know, those are the three main kind of temple characters from, from um, you know from the monsters and in this in this movie. Uh, so I don't see much point in going on about any others. So, like I said, you know, I, I had very high I had high exp high hopes for this when it was first announced. And through, you know, over time, they've just kind of gone down and down and down. Um, you know, like I said, the, the trailer diminished my expectations, made me very, very nervous. And then as soon as, soon as we started watching, you know, maybe, maybe the first 10, 15 minutes were, were okay. Um, you know, but then after that, it just snowballed and got worse and worse and worse. And yeah, it, and if I'm brutally honest, I couldn't even finish it couldn't even finish it have had to switch it off and and call it a night it, it was it was that bad so unfortunately um last last week i released a video on jeepers creepers saying that it was the number one contender for worst film of the year that spot has now officially been taken over by the monsters uh in my opinion this is number one the worst film of the year thus far um, with Jeepers Creepers taking second place, I'm afraid, um, which which is a big, which is saying a lot. It says a lot, um, and I'm really disappointed because I love Rob Zombie, I love his work, but this was just, you know, the worst. And I and look, I mean, I feel even worse for him because I believe this was a long term passion project, something that he'd wanted to do for many many years. Um, and it just has not i don't know whether it turned out exactly the way he wanted it to be but the way i i was uh, you know wanting it to be and i'm sure a lot of other audiences were expecting it to be it's just fallen completely flat and is just no good so anyway that is my opinion have you seen rob zombies the monsters have you uh, or are you uh, excited to see it let me know your comments uh, or your thoughts in the comments section below. Um, I'd be interested to find out what other people think of this movie. Uh, but for me, I'm, I'm sorry, but this has now officially taken number one spot for the worst movie of the year. Um, and look, considering there's not much left to come out between now and the end of the year, I don't see anything taking its place. However, yo. Know, you know, if something does come out to knock it off its perch, I will be pleasantly surprised and happy because I do not want 
at the end of the year, the worst movie of the year to be The Monsters. So anyway, as I said, hit me up in the comments box below. Let me know your thoughts on the movie. And if there's something else that you would like to see us do a review video of. Um, and uh, as I mentioned before, if you do enjoy my content, make sure you give it a thumbs up. That lets us know uh, to keep, uh, keep on going, keep on creating content and keep putting it out there for everyone to enjoy. So until next time, guys, stay jacked and stay nerdy.